trying to figure out if this thing is focusing and it does look like it is. Okay, stop scratching. This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you are all wondering why I have on these shades. So yesterday I woke up, I had re a really, really bad uh, hive outbreak again. Um, I think I mentioned to you guys last week that I was have been suffering from hives. Um, I have been diagnosed with this chronic hives. Uh, I don't know if you wanna call it a disease or whatever you wanna call it, but it supposedly comes in, it lasts for a while. If it's longer than six weeks, they basically call it chronic hives. And it comes in, it wreaks havoc in your body, and then the doctors tell you, it'll eventually go away. So I am, have been suffering with this since June. And I know you're not here to hear about all my health issues, but um, it traveled up to my face. So my face is currently, and mostly around my eyes. So underneath my eyes, uh, on top of my eyelids, also in you know my cheek area, uh, I have what, I have swelling basically. And so I was, I, I have to, number one, I have to tell you guys from last week's video that I put out, I got so many responses and so many people that um, are thinking about me and praying for me and my family. And I really, really want to thank you all for all of your thoughts and your prayers. And I, take that all in. From the bottom of my heart, I wanna thank you all for sending all those notes and all those well wishes um, my way. It's really, really needed right now. Um, so I was this weekend, like, I'm supposed to do a video. I want to do a video. I want to talk to you guys, but I'm ashamed. I'm embarrassed. I'm you know, I've got hives all over my arms. I've scratched them. Um, and I now it's travel to my face. What am I gonna do? So I put my big girl panties on and I put on this uh, L&M <laughs> sweatshirt. Shout out to Jen from L&M. This sweatshirt says a feminine. And I put this on, I said, oh, I'll wear shades. I'll wear my big shades. I have always wanted to have big shades and I finally got my big shades. And this is a perfect opportunity for me to wear them. I don't know if this has ever been done. Um, I'm sure there are some people that just wear shades all the time. I'm not one of them. I like for you guys to see my eyes, but right now, because they are so they are swollen i don't feel comfortable doing that so here i am i am going to do this video with my shades on so welcome back for those of you who are coming back week after week uh, i love you guys thank you very much and for those of you who are new i am shanti and i put out videos every week so this week I really wanted to talk about the new pochette accessoire that Louis Vuitton is putting out. Uh, it's, we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about a couple of things. It's very interesting to me. Um, the other thing you may have noticed is I got a haircut. Felt like I needed to chop my hair off um, and just, I, I needed something. I, I needed something different and so I chopped my hair off. So here we are. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in hearing about my thoughts on the new a pochette accessoire, stick around. So if you have been in the LV game for a long time like I have been, you will know that one of the staple pieces that 
any Louis Vuitton connoisseur might have in their collection is the pochette accessoire. I am going to show you the pochette accessoire that I have that I bought many, many, many moons ago. Uh, and Louis Vuitton has decided that they needed to up the price on the pochette accessoire. Uh, and in order to do that, what they did was they made some changes to the original. So this is the infamous pochette accessoire. So far, they have um, done some wild things with this bag, I can tell you. I. Louis Vuitton has been very special with this bag. They have taken this from a $500 piece to now a $1,500 piece. It's quite insane. Like, it's three times as much, right? Um, so, I, it, it, it's, it's hard to swallow for those of us who have been around for a while. Maybe it's not so hard to swallow for those that are new to Louis Vuitton. But um, yeah, they have hiked this particular piece up multiple times while they have taken it out of stock, made it very hard to find. I have been wanting the monogram and the Azure for years now, but never wanted to bite the bullet to buy it because they kept hiking the price up. The latest increase that they had done, I think it was around $1,200. The Damier Azur is out there for about that. Um, and now they've decided to bring it, the monogram back. You can't even get the Damier Abin anymore. So I'm really glad to have this one in my collection. I don't even understand that at all. Like I don't get it. Um, and they have brought it back now for $1,520. So we're gonna talk about some of the changes that they made to it. I, I do wanna talk about this piece. It is a very interesting piece because it doesn't have, there's not a lot to it. Like there's not a lot of hardware. It's very simple. But I have to say one thing about this particular bag. This bag is extremely functional. I don't consider this a bag, but now for $1,500, I'm gonna have to consider it like a bag because I don't, to buy, even though they call it an accessory, like, is it really an accessory? I don't know. Is it an accessory? I can wear it as a bag. So let's talk about the pochette accessoire. Very simple canvas all the way around. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing to it. The inside of this particular one is red. Got some air paper in there. The inside of this particular one is red, which I love. There is nothing in it. There is no, there's no slip pocket. There is no card holder. There is nothing. There is nothing. Um, the, uh, there is a zipper. <laughs> it's one zipper, not two. Uh, you know, you just open it up like a regular bag. It does go a little bit further. So there is a nice wide opening to this bag. It comes with this little leather strap that you can put over your shoulder and it's like not that long. So it's like right there. Um, I tend to wear this with the long, with a longer strap because I have one. Uh, I think I use the one for my Alma, my Alma BB, which is also in uh, Damier Abin. So again, super simple. Don't understand like what's going on, but this thing is extremely, extremely functional. So I want to show you why. It's canvas, so it molds to whatever you put in it. And this thing carries a good amount of stuff. So I am going to show you. I'm gonna put in my phone, okay, my phone. 
I would not put a big wallet in here, although you can. So here's a card case. Here's my um, hand sanitizer, my keys, a lipstick. I still have plenty of room in here. I'm wearing my sunglasses, but these are my glasses. I can put this in here. I can close this up and I literally have uh, no issues. Like it's not bulging, it's holding it well, I don't have any issues with it. It is, in my opinion, one of the most functional accessory pieces, if you wanna call it that, that you can have. I still have room for more. That is the kicker about this, this accessory. It's so simple, right? It's got not a lot going for it, but yet it is so functional. I also want to show you my Felici. This is my Felici in Vernie, Vernie in the Amarant. Beautiful, gorgeous Amarant. I'm going to take whatever is in this and I'm going to put it in this to show you the difference. So I'm gonna take everything out of here, which is the vernie cloth that I keep in there and then the chain. It also comes with inserts. I don't use the inserts, but this is what the inside looks like. So, and, and it's, the, the Felici is a very, very structured bag, okay? It's very, very structured. So let's see if all those things fit in my Felici. So of course we're gonna put in the phone first. Card case, I'm gonna, there's, there is a slip pocket in the back, I'm gonna put that in the back. I'm gonna put in my hand sanitizer. I'm gonna put in my key. See, I'm already, I'm already having to play Tetris over here. Not bad, but I'm still having to play Tetris. My lip gloss, that'll go over there. And here are my glasses. So you can like fit it at the top, right? It looks like it fits. And then there's a press closure. So you have to find it when you're wearing it and close it. Now. It fits, but obviously when I showed you the same items in the pochette accessoire, I can put in more. Like I could literally fit more on top of what I already had. I would not even try to put more in here. Like that would be insane. So in terms of I mean, they both fill, you know, kind of the same, like the same items, right? One is more casual, one is more dressy. One is very structured, one is more slouchy. So this currently retails for, in the leather, it retails for $16.20. I don't actually see this in Vernie on the website anymore. And then in canvas, it retails for $14.90. If you get a special edition, it looks like they go up to anywhere from $1,600 to $1,760 up to uh, one of the collaborations looks like was oh, about $2,000. Let's talk about what they did that's new to the pochette accessoire. So I am going to borrow the chain off of my lock me tender. Let's talk about this for a minute. So LV has decided, like they do, that in order to charge us $1,500, they are going to add a chain to the pochette accessoire. I do like adding the chain. It does make it a little bit heavier, but I do like the look of it. It dresses it up a little bit. You can also wear it with the chain. Now, 
For those of you who have LV bags and have chains already, you don't need the chain, right? So it's no big deal, right? You could get it and then sell the chain if you wanted to. Um, I like the idea of the chain. I like what they did with the chain. I wish they had given us a long strap and not kept it with a short strap, but it looks like they have the um, short strap. They have pretty much kept everything else the same. What they have changed is the inside. So on the outside, everything except for the chain is basically the same. You get the same leather strap. So on the inside, what they have done is they have a two card slots that they have added to that to this bag. I think honestly that is a super nice feature. If they're adding card slots to this, that means I don't need to bring a card case, which is pretty nice. And I'll be very interested to know if the additions of these things have taken away from the inside of the bag. Like, cause sometimes you add all these things and then you're losing space. So I'd be very, very curious to know if anything changed there. So they added two card slots. They added two inside flat pockets, giving you some organization. They've also added an inside zippered pocket. The chain is removable. Um, the chain drop is 9.8 inches. I think that's a good length. So I find this new version I'm not gonna lie, I find the new version to be outrageous in the price, but I do find it very interesting and interesting enough to maybe add to my collection. I have been wanting one for so long, but it's very hard to add it because it's so pricey and then you're like, well, it's just a pochette accessoire, like why am I paying that much? But at this point, you're gonna have to pay the Pied Piper if you want this bag at the end of the day. They do still have the Damier Azor sitting out there for $12.90, but they have completely removed the monogram off the website. If you want to buy one that's personalized, you can still get one um, that's more expensive, but I believe that is the old model, not the new model, which is kind of interesting. I really think if you are looking for an entry level purchase into Louis Vuitton, this is going to be your baby. You can find this on resale market if you don't wanna pay Louis Vuitton prices, but I think this is a good entry piece. And I also have to say, if I'm traveling with my Neverfull and I wanna be able to have something smaller inside my bag uh, that I can take out and carry with me, I much prefer this over the Louis Vuitton and Neverfull pouch. Let me go get that real quick. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull pouch GM, which is slightly larger than the one you get with the MM. I did size them. I ended up selling my MM because I don't need two of these. This is what comes with the Neverfull. It is flat, it's okay, but you start putting stuff in it. I'll even put the stuff that I had in this bag in here and I'll show you. It gets really lumpy and bumpy and I don't really like that. Um, it is obviously bigger, but let me just show you what it looks like when I put everything in here. Okay, so I have everything in here now, but okay. If I were to take these two and I had the option, I would always choose this. Number one, this comes with a full strap. This comes with this type of strap. I know people have converted this into bags. There is a way you can do that. Um, there are kits, but look at this. Look at the way it like waves. And I have the same amount of stuff in here. I do like that this is tall and big. I find that this is better for like documents. So like if you're like traveling with a passport, if you're traveling with specific papers that you that are, you know, important, this is really good for like a document holder. I wish it was a lot bigger, <laughs> like eight and a half by 11, um, but it's not. I, I find that this is way better for things like that. I, other than that, really not. I, if I had 
the choice between these two, I would always pick this. So here's what I would say. If you're interested, if you're between these two and you have this, because many of you probably have an Everfull and you're like, well, this is kind of duplicating. I would agree. I would agree that these are duplicating and I would choose this over this. So for those of you who have this, you might consider selling this to fund this. Up to you. The 1520 is pretty steep, but I'm very interested. I'm very interested to see it. I'm very interested to find out what it looks like, how much it holds. Um, I don't know. I'm just intrigued by what they've done on the inside because I do think what they've given you is better than kind of this plain, uh, you know, this plain opening. Sometimes when they give you those things, it get, just gets in the way of you being able to just put a whole bunch of stuff in your bag, but maybe not. Maybe it actually is helping with some of the organization. I don't know, anyway. So between the Felici pochette, you're never full that comes with a pochette and the new pochette accessoire, which we are about to see. I'm really curious if anybody has bought this. If, you, if any of you have actually purchased this or have seen this yet, let me know. I'm very, very curious what you think. Leave a comment down below. Um, yeah, I'm really curious. I want to see it. I wish I could touch it. I hope somebody has videos on it. If they do, please tag me, like let me know so I can go look at it. Very, very curious. Um, yeah, so I wanted to kind of show you guys the new pochette accessoire just because I'm also very interested in kind of looking at this piece and maybe adding it to my collection. There are other bags I would rather spend that money on and that's, that's the problem with the price point that they're at. Most people, if they're gonna buy a bag from Louis Vuitton, are gonna take the $1,500, put it into a bigger bag, and just get a bigger bag. So that's the dilemma that we have at this moment with the price points. The other thing that we could do, if we don't want to spend now and you guys want to wait, waiting always can save you money, right? So if you wait, Someone could buy it, someone could hate it, and someone could say, I'm gonna sell it because I hate it and I want something else. And then you might be able to get it for less. So that's always a possibility. But yeah, I'm very interested in this piece. Let me know what you guys think below. Am I crazy? Is it too much money? Would you guys spend that much money on a pochette accessoire? Let me know. Like I said, I think it's super, super functional. Uh, and so it is a piece that will always, always be in my collection. So that's all that I wanted to, to talk to you about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers. And I hope to come back to you in some type of a normal form where I'm not having to wear sunglasses at this point. So uh, thank you for joining me today. I really uh, appreciate it and I'm so glad that I was able to figure out how I was going to get a video out today. So thank you very much for joining. I will talk to you next week.